और डी वी वर्कशॉप चैनल में आपका स्वागत है आज हम डिस्कस करेंगे बाइनरी नंबर सिस्टम एंड डेसिमल नंबर सिस्टम सो वी विल डिस्कस हाउ टू कन्वर्ट नंबर फ्रॉम द डेसिमल नंबर सिस्टम टू बाइनरी नंबर सिस्टम बिफोर बी टू दिस फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी हैव टू अंडरस्टैंड दैट द डेसिमल नंबर सिस्टम इज द बेस टेन एंड फ्यू फैक्ट्स अबाउट अ डेसिमल नंबर सिस्टम let's consider this example like this this is a number and uh, this is this number is in uh, decimal number system we say that it is to the base 10 and it is in a decimal number system when we say that it is a base 10 that means it will have a digits that lies between 0 to 9 so because this number has a this is a integer part and this is a fraction part so we will just uh, separate the uh integer part and we will separate the fraction part we will solve it we will understand and solve it differently first of all we will we will understand the integer part and then we will understand the fraction part let's just solving the integer number somehow if we know that 7 is at a hundreds place 4 is at a tens place and 5 is at a ones place then we will know that uh, this is a place value system but we have to write a algorithm we have to find the procedure in which we are able to find which digit is at which place for example 745 it could be written in this way that 7 into uh, 745 can be written as a uh, 700 plus 40 Plus five. The, this is a place value system. We already understand that this is at a ones place, this is at a tens place, and this is at a hundreds place. That's why if we write it in in a tens power, we could write it in in this way. So the target is how we find that the seven is at a hundred place, how we find that the four is at a tens place, how we find five is at a ones place. So we have to find some kind of uh, algorithm or process or logic how how we know that seven is at a what place? Is it as a hundred place or tens place or ones place? So if we look at the number. Uh, intuitively we we know that 700 plus 40 plus 5 becomes a 745 and 700 is nothing but it is a power of 10 uh, 10 to the power 2 is multiplied by 7 and then uh, 4 is multiplied by 10 to the power 1 and 5 is multiplied by 10 to the power 0 so now if we see that these numbers are are a multiple of 10 powers of a 10 so if we somehow want to get the number and something that is multiplied by 10 if we just just uh, start dividing it by 10 we we could get uh, we could get a digit so uh, this is the number we have and if we just um, uh, divide the complete number by 10 what will happen uh, i will i will get 5 how let's see in decimal number system we have only digits between 0 to 9 so if if i divide something by 10 always i will get the remainder between 0 to 9 if i divide something by 10 i cannot get uh, something greater than 10 if it is greater than 10 obviously it will be get divided right so uh, if i divide uh, any number by 10 there the chances that uh, i will get a number between 0 to 9 nothing else so once i divide this number 745 by 10 i will get 5 as a remainder and we know how to handle the 5 because uh, in decimal number system we know uh, we know how to represent a 0 to 9 number so first of all uh, we just uh, uh, divided the complete number by uh, by 10 and we got 5 as a remainder then i will repeat the same process again and again now because i divided 740 uh, 745 by 10 and i remain with a 74 and 5 is a remainder so i pick the quotient again and then i just uh, divide it again and i got a second remainder that is 4 then i got a 4 and then if i divide it again now there is no point in dividing the 7 by 10 because uh, 7 is itself less than 10 so if uh, now by looking at this process i i can generate this logic that repeat until while my number is my my number is greater than 10 i will keep the num- dividing the number and i will just note the remainder the first remainder i got will be at a ones place and second number i will got will be at a tens place and third uh, this remainder i will got will be at a hundreds place so i keep on repeating uh, repeating the process and i will get get the digit uh, i will get the digit uh, 
at the place value system uh, i mean uh, i will get the answer to these questions that seven is at what place uh, four is at what place five is at what place so now the first number we got i will start writing it i will just uh, start writing from right to left for example the first i think uh, first number I got, I, I get a 5 and then I get 4 and then I get 7. So in this way I can handle the, I can get the digits to print the decimal numbers. For example, if, uh, if I am talking about a second part of the number that is a, a fractional part, if I have a this number I could write it in this way, right, 0 0.6 plus 0 0.03 plus 0 0.09. So See, 6 is at a 10th place and uh, if I somehow I came to know that 6 is at a 10th place and 3 is at a 100th place and 9 is at a 1000th place, then I, I will be able to solve it again. 0 0.6 can be re represented as a 6 into 10 to the power minus 1. 0 0.03 can be re represented as a 3 into 10 to the power minus 2. And 9, 0.009 can be represented as a 9 into 10 raised to power minus 3. So if we look at this number, it these digits has been divided by 10. So if somehow I will just multiply by 10, then we will get it a digit between 0 to 9. That's what we are interested. This is a decimal uh, number system. We only know how to handle number from a 0 to 9. So if I multiply by a 10, what will happen? I will get 6. So let's see, my number is this one and if I multiply it by a 10, obviously I will get a 6 as a integer part and then I will got a, uh, got a 6 and if I keep on repeating it, I will get a 3 as a 100 place, 9 at a 1000th place and then I can rewrite the number. So in this way we cross check that uh, how or validated how the decimal number is to the base 10 and we, we are able to generate an algorithm for for decimal to decimal conver conversation that uh, how we convert a decimal number into decimal number system uh, let's discuss one more example see uh, th this is a number 745 and 639 so 5 is at a 1's place 4 is at a 10th place 7 is at 100th place and 0.6 is at a 10th and 100th and 1000th place so how, how we handle it First of all, for 745, we know that 5 plus 40 plus 700 becomes a 745. So this is the algorithm we have generated. If number is greater than 10, for example, 745, it is just a integer part of the number. It is greater than 10. We keep on dividing the number by a 10. Why we are dividing it by a 10? Because this is a decimal number system. And uh, uh, if we divide it by a 10, we got something between 0 to 9 and we know because this is a base 10 and if we, if we divide it by a 10 we got result between 0 to 9 and 0 to 9 we know how to represent it so we are just uh, trying to pick the digit i will repeat until n is greater than 10 and i will just look look for the remainder after dividing by a 10 for example this is an example this is a 745 is a number we divide it by a 10 we got uh, 74 as in a quotient and then uh, we got uh, 5 as a remainder so we got the first remainder at a 5 and now we know that okay 5 is at a 1's place and then my quotient is 74 if i divide it again by a 10 so now my remainder becomes because 74 when I divide it by a 10 I got a question 7 but the remainder is 4 uh, now my number is a 7 if I divide it by a 10 there is no point in dividing by 10 because number is already greater than uh, 10 so now I got a remainder 7 only so I, I will stop it here and I got the numbers because I know that uh, this is at a units place I will write point over here I write 5 and then 4 then 7 so first number I got is at the 1's place and then I got a 10's place and then I got a 100's place let's see at a fraction part of it 0 0.6 see 0 0.639 is something that can be written as a 0 0.6 plus 0 0.03 plus 0 0.009 so this is all the numbers this is just a complete number complete, complete fractional part if we carefully look at this number these numbers has been divided by the powers of 10 the 0.6 is nothing but a 6 by 10 point 0 0.03 is nothing nothing but a 3 divided by 100 and point 0 0.009 is a 9 divided by a 1000. So that means these numbers has been divided by 
the powers of a 10 if I multiply by a 10 I will get the digit between 0 to 9 so let's take this fraction part and I let's multiply it by a 10 if I multiply this number by a 10 I will get a 6 plus 0.39 so 6 is an integer part so I just separated the 6 and I put it here because because we are interested in something from 0 to 9 0.39 I am just to take it again and just again multiplying it by 10 and I got a 3 and then I got a 3 number over here because that's the integer part 0.9 I will again multiply it by a 10 and then I got a 9 and then there is no fraction part now because 0 0.0 we got so I got a 9 over here so these are the non fractional uh, parts so we, we got an integer part actually so we may say that this is non-fractional or maybe simply integer part so uh, we got these numbers 6 3 and 9 so we got 6 3 9 over here and then that the first number we have generated is something we will just write from a point left to right and here we write right to left so we will just uh, got 6 3 9 and we, we write 6 3 9 but we started with the this number and we end up with the this number but why we did it because by doing this we got this algorithm here 10 is the base right and here 10 is the base so uh, for example we are bound to convert a decimal number from 25.25 to a binary number here we apply the same logic because I got a 25 now see here repeat until n is greater than 10 so if I copy over here and print it here so here I have a, here we don't have a base 10 we have a base 2 over here and now we don't divide it by a 10 because we divide it by a 2 because we are interested in converting it to the base 2 base 2 means binary so I will apply this algorithm over here I, I got a 25 over here and I have just divided it by a 2 and I got a 12 and remainder I got 1 so I note it 1 note it again so I keep on doing it once I got 1 so see last I got 1 number is become 1 is become less than 2 so I generate these numbers I write it them so this is my point and this is my unit place if I write from here I will write in this way if I write from here I will write this way so I just printed it for example for this one I got 0 0.25 0 0.25 I will multiply see this is the algorithm over here so while number is less and I will multiply by 2 only because my base is 2 so what happened that 0 0.25 when I multiply it by 2 I got 0 0.0 plus 0 0.05 so the integer part I got over here is just 0 only so I will I will write 0 and I will again got a 0 0.50 and I will multiply it by 2 I got 1 and I got 1 over here so these are the integer, integer part I got 0 and then I got 1 so what number I got I got this 0 and then 1 so this is how we convert this is how we just gen, uh, generate the algorithms and by looking at by following those algorithm we convert a decimal number 25.25 .25 into a binary number